Welcome to the channel Physics Made Easy. As we are discussing optics, lenses we have discussed, mirrors we have discussed. Today we will discuss combination of lenses and mirrors. Why to combine lenses and mirrors? You know, real images are obtained by concave mirrors and convex lenses. But always virtual images are formed by convex mirror and concave lens. So, to get the focal length of these two, which two? Convex mirror and concave lens. We have to combine lenses and mirrors. Also of the practical utility as well as of the numerical purpose. So, let us begin. Combination of lenses and mirrors. First of all, you must have seen that if in the laboratory two pins optical bench and stands and lenses are given. So, if convex lens is given to you with two pins and optical bench, you can utilize one pin and object pin, other on the other side of the lens as image pin and you can find the real image of one on the other and you can find focal length of convex, convex lens to find finding u and v values you can get. But what about concave lens? Because it forms a virtual image, then how will you get the focal length of concave lens? Let us discuss. First case, combination of concave lens First, I will combine concave lens with concave mirror. Now, concave mirror forms the real image. So, how will you get the focal length of concave lens using concave mirror? This combination is used to find the focal length of concave lens using concave mirror. Look. What happens that if you take a concave mirror mount at the optical bench and if this is the object pin, then what happens if the object pin is placed in such a way that its real and inverted image is obtained here. It is suppose this is the object pin here and its inverted image is obtained here because the rays are going to the convex lens and reflected back. They are going to the convex con, concave mirror and reflected back. Now, what happens if you have to combine concave lens you to bring concave lens here in this picture? What you should do? You take a concave lens and place between the object pin and concave mirror in such a way as I have shown here, okay, like this. What will happen? Now, the rays reflected from the mirror, they are coming through lens. Then what will happen? The nature of concave lens is to diverge. So, what will you get? The rays are diversed by the lens and the inverted image is obtained here. That is, this is the inverted image. The same pair here, it is O and I, then here it is O dash and I dash. So, what you have to do? You have to shift this pin after mounting the concave lens in between this object pin and concave mirror so that again the real and inverted image is obtained at this O dash. Now, scale is given at the optical bench. You can note down this reading that is the lens reading. This is O, this is O dash. This distance is U and its image is formed here and this distance will be v. Now, 
note down one more point that this is positive this is positive why because the rays are coming from the reflection by uh, the reflection from the mirror so in the direction of incident ray we are measuring the distance of object and distance of image so this lo is u this is positive lo dash is v this is positive using the lens relation 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u you will get the focal length of concave lens so f of concave lens is obtained using con concave mirror i told you note down here this u is less v is more so you will get the value you put the numerical value you will find that f will be negative and is this, it is true that focal length of concave lens is negative okay now to get the focal length of concave lens using convex lens how will you find it look here now the b case i am combining this concave lens using convex lens as you know the convex lens forms the real image so if you mount the this convex lens put at the stand and if this is the object pin o here this is the image pin i okay what happens from the object pin the rays are refracted through the convex lens and suppose they are meeting here to get the real image so you will get the this inverted image of o here at the i okay this is the image o object pin o now if the parallax is removed here this inverted image of o is obtained here at this image pin then what happens if in between this image pin and convex lens you again put the concave lens like this what will happen this concave lens will diverge the rays so since the rays are coming from the through the convex lens on it so the rays are diverged and the image suppose this is i1 the second image is obtained here look this one after the concave lens the rays are diverged and they are meeting here here at the position i2 so the first image you note down this position you know this position of concave lens difference between them is this is u and difference between concave lens and the image i2 you will get again the non parallax position that is parallax removed this will be v using lens relation now again this is the incident direction so both are positive u is less v is more so you will get f negative and that is the sign of concave lens focal length so using this relation 1 upon f equal to 1 upon v minus 1 by u keeping both u and v positive how to get the values of u and v the separation between concave lens and first image and concave lens and second image you will come to know the focal length of concave lens in this way third method to get how to find the focal length of concave lens using plane mirror look as you know this is the third method using plane mirror you know the concave lens forms the virtual image so if this is the concave lens place here at the optical bench okay if this is the object pin 
suppose this is O, then what happens? This the first ray parallel to the principal axis is diverged in such a way that on extending back it is here, it passes through this point. Second ray passing through optical center. So, this is the virtual diminished image, this is I as you know. Okay. But since this image is virtual, then how to locate it? A, con a plane mirror is used. Look, if a plane mirror is placed here after the concave lens, suppose it is placed here, its height is adjusted in such a way. Look, this is the uh, optical bench and if it is polished portion is towards the lens and another pin is shifted in such a way that this distance where the image is formed by the concave lens, images of this object pin, this virtual image, then this distance should be same as this. You will find that by shifting the pin, image pin in such a way, suppose this its name is PQ, then you will find that from P, suppose a ray is coming on the plane mirror, okay, this is incident ray, then it will be reflected in such a way that it passes, it forms its image at the position where I is formed by the lens. This is the object pin, its virtual image is seen, but how to locate it? A, con a plane mirror is placed, in front of plane mirror an object and another pin is PQ is placed. Its image, virtual image, you know for the plane mirror the distance of, of object is same as the distance of image. So, if its image is formed here, you first, you I am drawing the same size object at the same size image. So, if this is Q dash and this is P dash, then what will happen? The ray after reflected, this ray after reflection through the mirror, it is reflected in such a way. This is, that is, this is, okay take another ray because minimum two rays are required to get the image. So, this is the second ray and again you join this one and this is the reflected ray. So, what I mean to say how to find the focal length of this concave lens using plane mirror. If this is asked, then how will you find? Use the plane mirror, put the PQ image pin and its image is opt this PQ is pin that is used as object for this plane mirror and its image is obtained behind the mirror at the same distance. Now simple this distance is U and this distance is V. So at the, at the optical bench you will be having the meter scale find out these two values and use lens relation again 1 by f equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u, you will get this focal length of concave lens. Here you will find that this u and v, you have to put the value here and you will find the focal length of concave lens. The next combination is the Convex lens is used to find the focal length of convex mirror. Why? Again, because the convex mirrors form the virtual image. How to get the focal length of convex mirror using convex lens? This is also an experiment in the board examination. Look, if a convex lens is mounted at the stand on the optical bench, suppose this is the object pin O okay, and the rays are 
going from the object, uh, object pin it is its image is formed here at the image pin like this real inverted image is obtained if the object pin is placed in such a way its real and inverted image is obtained at the image pin this is the object pin ok now parallax is removed what happens convex mirror this is convex mirror is put in between the convex lens and this image pin in such a way that the rays for are incident at the mirror look now the rays are incident at the mirror like this so its position is adjusted in such a way that after reflection through the mirror they are forming the inverted image but anywhere you have to shift this position this convex mirror in such a way that its inverted image of object pin is obtained here this like this so if this situation is achieved by shifting the convex mirror then it is possible only when the mirror position and this distance is equal to the r that is radius of curvature of the mirror only then the reflected rays will form the image at the object pin o you can check by removing this mirror from the stand that again o and i are at the same situation that is parallax is removed so to get the convex mirror focal length how will you get you have to put the convex mirror in between the lens and image pin in such a way that its uh, real and its inverted image of object pin o is obtained here at its own place and parallax is removed so this distance of mirror with the image pin is r and you know f equal to r by 2 so focal length of convex mirror is obtained in this yes. scene that combination of lenses and mirrors have practical util utility as well as it is very important to get the focal length of mirrors and lenses i hope you must have enjoyed thank you